Hey, subscribe. Good morning, sweetheart. How have you been? I hope you dream about me last night. <laughs> oh, I see. You already forgot what you just dream, huh? Well, that's fine by me. As long as I'm the first person you see when you wake up, that's already fine by me. By the way, you might notice that your rooms are getting emptier and emptier. It's intentional. I burn all those booty pillows and figurines that you own. You don't need those junks. You don't need to daydream about them. They are not real anyway. Oh, hey. Don't feel sad. I do it because I love you. You cannot lie to me. I know everything about you. Your eyebrow gave it away. Listen, it hurts me to make you sad like this, but a strong commitment requires a hard decision. I know you have been attached to those unreal characters. You always have been because you have nobody else to talk with. But now that your boyfriend is here, things are different now. I am a real person, warm and gentle. I can cuddle you and hug you. Can your figurines do that? No, right? <laughs> no, 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 sweetheart. You are the one who hugged that ugly pillow. Those anime hands on that body pillow are not real. They cannot hug you. They are just pieces of fabric that have been woven with different colors together to make the shape of that character. If I poured a black ink or blood, poof, all the shapes of the character turned into one pathetic cotton lump. You need to admit the reality, sweetheart. That body pillow is just a fabric that has cotton inside it. None of them can move. I can move, sweetheart. None of them can talk. What are we doing right now? That's right. You and I, we are having a conversation right now. We are trying to reach a bond of understanding together. If you're hungry, can they help you? Heck, they don't even care if you are sick. They do not have brain. They cannot even see anything. Those figurines are just a bunch of plastics. That bottle you used to drink, oh, was also made from plastic. So, you know, you don't have that much attachment to that bottle. So why cannot you do the same to this small plastic? They are both made of similar materials. Plastic, sweetheart. Plastic. Figurines. These figurines are all plastics. Look at me. Feel me. Touch me. I'm made out of 100% boyfriend material. I'm 100% able to produce love, care, warm, kindness, and gentleness. None of them can listen to you when you are sad. Whenever you cry and express your feeling to them, do they respond to you? No, right? But I can. I can wipe your tears when you cry. I can listen and understand everything you say. There is a difference between letting out everything to them compared to me. When you talk to those figurines and body pillow, 
It's an escape reality, and fantasize about what could happen in another universe. You always fantasize to life with those non-existent characters. But in real life, you still have that mindset that you are only wasting your parents' money. You cannot even do anything useful and you just wait until your time comes. But with me, I can understand your pain. I can understand your struggle. I know how hurt you have been. I can help you because I get what you are going through. I'm different from those fake unreal characters. There is a real difference between talking alone and someone listening and understanding your burden. Do you want to always run away from reality? see it in your eyes, sweetheart. I know what you are thinking. I know your mind is having a storm right now. All that chaos, all that pain, those doubts and past experiences. You never received a single good thing in your life, right? You felt like all the things I have said are just an ideal optimistic life. Right. You think that everything I said is very unrealistic. Right. I mean, sweetheart, think about it. I know that in this past week, I've been cleaning you. But not a single time have you ever screamed. Not a single time you struggled. From your body language, I know that you are long for this. For someone to care for you. For someone to look at you with gentle eyes and a smile. For someone to give you a blanket when you sleep so peacefully. For someone to cook you a warm soup when you are cold. Didn't I respect your boundaries too? You have no idea how hard it is for me to hold myself. As a male. To not do anything inappropriate to a vulnerable, cute girl like you. I respect you. I love you. I adore you. I know I have been restricting your movement, but I want you to slowly adjust to this kind of treatment. Let all of me be ingrained inside your mind. To let you know that no matter how many times I need to leave your house to buy things. Never have I ever run away from you, right? Never have I ever left you. I always go back to you. Right? Didn't I tell you last week? Even if I'm not the one being chained right now. I want to prove my loyalty to you. I want to prove that I only put my eyes on you. You have sparked the fire inside my heart. My love for you will always burn a blaze. And there is no way I would let anyone treat you horribly anymore. Well, if, if, if I'm in your shoes, I know that this is still too much for you. Heck, I would still have a suspicion that the person who chained me might have ulterior motives. Not to mention I injected you and forced you to sleep that time and chained you to your own bed. But I really mean it, sweetheart. I'm just afraid that you will go panic and cannot calm yourself. But... Then I never harm you, right? When I confessed to you and wanted to be your boyfriend, up until now, you still haven't answered that question yet. But I didn't force you, right? Everything takes time. I know I did manipulate you to open your lock that night. But this one is about love. This one is about commitment. I want your love for me to be a genuine one. 
Just like how genuine I want to shower you with love, to cuddle you, to always be at your side. It wouldn't be fair if only I knew everything about you, but you still see me as a stranger. Relationships don't work that way. You might call me delusional for always saying I'm your boyfriend. But that's what I see in my own eyes. I can see a happy future, happy life, with just the two of us. I can see the beautiful person in front of me, wearing that white, gorgeous, shiny wedding dress, focusing her eyes only for me. I can see our children have bright academic results. One of them even have a big mansion and a private jet. One of them owns a successful restaurant, even declining three Michelin stars. But people still come to that restaurant because the result matters more than the branded reputation. We taught our children with humility and kindness. You see, that's what I see within you, my precious partner, my precious soulmate. I know you have got a lot of verbal abuse and bullies before. You have very low self-esteem. Heck, you still felt so worthless and pathetic right now. I know negative words are more painful and stuck inside your mind longer than compliments. I know those thorns linger for decades, but that's exactly why I will fight those bad thoughts inside your mind with my presence. All the things that I do, I will always do it with gentleness, care, and kindness. Right? Have I forced you out of your free will? I have set a very long chain so you can move freely in your house. Even when you need to take a shower or go to the restroom. Despite you cannot close your door because of the chain that got bonded to your bed. I always wait outside of your house, right? I know I can just wait in the living room or kitchen, but I do respect your boundaries. You know, I can listen to the sound of the water flowing down from your shower since the door cannot be closed. That's why I, I waited outside. You never mention it, but I do know you might feel embarrassed if I hear a hint of the sound of what you are doing. I want to protect your purity too. <laughs> Thankfully, you always call me whenever you already finish, so I can enter your house again. Whenever you say you need some space alone, I give it to you, right? Despite it hurts me to be away from you, but I never restrict your activities. I even let you have your phone. Even though I know how risky it is because you can call the police. But I trust you with all of my heart. Because I know that deep down inside, you are that kind. I can see that you trust me too. I know what I see is real and I'm not delusional. Me staying a full week with you proves that. Not even a single time you call for help. Not even a single time you told your parents that you were being kidnapped. I know your parents are calling you three times this week. But you never snitched me. I really appreciate how welcoming you are. I know you want to trust me with all of your heart. But how can you do it if you still think that I don't trust you 100%, right? So let me tell you something. All this time, I have hidden the key to under your chain inside your cabinet. You can find it at the bottom corner right. The handcuff key is so small I can conveniently put it there and you will not even notice it. Look, from the beginning, I have put my trust in you. I will say it again, you are trustworthy. You are a kind girl. The moment I lay my eyes on you, I know exactly how gentle you are. 
That's how much I really trust you. Now that you know where the key is, you can do whatever you like with that information. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect you to hug me like this. <laughs> It's a good surprise. I, 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 yes? What are you saying, sweetheart? What do you mean, yes? <laughs> Wait, is this real? Are you serious? C c can you say it one more time? Sweetheart, you, you really want me to be your boyfriend? <laughs> you, you really are? You mean it, right? <laughs> oh, wow, you really feel so warm. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to hug you like this. This is exactly what I wanted from you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, sweetheart. I love you, I love you. I love you, I really love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I know you love me, but I love you more, sweetheart. Why? Why am I being so kind to you, sweetheart? Well, that's because I really love you, sweetheart.